Have you already started your journey towards becoming a data analyst, but not sure yet how to build your portfolio up? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to create that job ready portfolio that will help you land your first interview. Hey, my name's Tom. I've been working with data for more than five years, and I'm currently a senior data scientist at Career Foundry. With my job, we need to hire new data analysts from time to time. And so I've seen my fair share of good and bad data analyst portfolios in my time. This experience has helped me to realize what ingredients go into making a portfolio stand out and revealing the awesome candidate behind it all. Data analytics is increasing in popularity, and that means there's more jobs available, but also more competition for those jobs. But don't worry, that's exactly why we're making this video today, to show you all the points you should cover and exactly what a hiring manager would expect to see in a good portfolio. In a hands-on field like data analytics, it's not enough to simply tell employers what you can do. They want to see proof. So while your resume might summarize your qualifications and experiences, a portfolio showcases your skills in action, making it an essential tool when applying for jobs. Personally, when I'm hiring a candidate, I don't spend a lot of time looking at their CV. I prefer to go right to the portfolio. So what is a data analytics portfolio? In simple terms, a portfolio is a collection of a handful of projects hosted on a site that recruiters can easily find. It should contain one primary project, but can also have a handful of other projects as well. Each project should be interesting, clear to understand, and contain as many cool data analytics techniques as possible. So what is a data analytics project? Well, you're trying to explain something about the world using data. It's that simple. It could be a business problem. For example, describing the use of mobility scooters in a city like London. It could be something more abstract, like the impact of greenhouse gases on climate change. Or it could just be something that you're interested in about, like cat videos on YouTube. The thing that you work on isn't super important. What makes a great data analytics project is that you're using data to help the reader better understand the thing that you're describing. I recommend that your projects should be your own idea, but if you're struggling to get inspired, there are lots of places you can find inspiration both in terms of the problem you're trying to solve and the techniques you're expected to use. Why not check out Tableau Public or D3JS? Both of them have some cool ideas you can look at. Now let's get into the details of how you build a data analytics portfolio. What idea will you work on? What techniques will you showcase? And how will you present your work to recruiters? So let's dive into how you will find the project ideas that you're gonna work on. Don't forget, you only need one great idea to make your portfolio stand out. I've seen some portfolios with as many as 10 projects in it, but as a recruiter, I tend not to look through every single project when there are as many as 10 in a portfolio. So keep it small, keep it concise. Three is a good number. For each project, you need to decide what is the business case or special interest you want to present. My recommendation is to pick something that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about an area, you're going to want to work harder on it and your interest will shine more clearly through in the final project you present. Or pick a problem in a business sector that tends to hire lots of analysts. This is a nice hack towards getting a job easily. Some common sectors include fintech, pharma, e-commerce, and mobility. Now you've picked your project, make sure that the first thing that appears on your page is a summary of the work you've done. This should include any conclusions that you've drawn, any challenges that you've faced, any cool techniques that you used, and what you might do if you had more time to work on the problem. Check out the Pyramid Principle by McKinsey Research for more information on how to effectively summarize your work. Next, don't forget to explain where you get your data from. This is after all a data analytics project and make sure you reference those data sources clearly in your portfolio project. We made a cool video about where to find data analytics data sources. The link for that as well as other resources will be available in the description below. Check it out. Now you've come up with a good project idea, let's look at what techniques a good data analytics project should showcase. Data acquisition. Can you get data from a variety of sources in a robust and error-free manner? You can use SQL to do this, you can use data scraping to do this, you can use Python to do this, or you can even just import a good old Excel file. Data preparation. Make sure you showcase your data preparation techniques. A good data analytics project is not just about the final result with amazing visualizations. The recruiter also needs to know all the hard work you've done in the background, so make sure you show them that. It can include tasks like cleaning your data to remove missing values or incomplete values. 
It can include data manipulation techniques, like converting to different data types, creating new features, and it can include more complex techniques, like high dimensional transformations, machine learning techniques, etc. If you want to work in SQL, then regular CTEs will allow you to do the data preparation that you need. If you like working in Python, why don't you check out Pandas and Scikit-learn for some easy to use data manipulation packages. Data analytics, whether it's descriptive or diagnostic techniques, you're gonna to need to showcase some statistical analytical methods. You might also try out some simple ML techniques like regression or classification analysis, time series analysis, or A-B testing. Data visualization, probably the most important part. Can you include charts, graphs, and other visualizations that succinctly summarize the complex data you've been working with and visualize it in an intuitive way that makes sense to the person who's reading it? It doesn't just have to include charts. You can also include text, videos, and anything else you find will make the information you're trying to present more consumable. For data visualization, there are some great free dashboarding tools available. Why don't you check out Metabase or Streamlit? Or if you want to include visualizations in your native Python code, use Plotly or Matplotlib. Now you've used all the cool data analytics techniques in your project, let's think about how we can present your findings to recruiters. Your projects should be easy and free to access. And there are a number of resources that will allow you to do that. GitHub. GitHub is the go-to place for developers. So any tech-savvy recruiter will be impressed that you have a page on GitHub. The two most common approaches are GitHub repositories. The go-to place for most developers, a GitHub repo is where you can host your data analytics, including the code and all visualizations that you decide to create. Or GitHub pages. This will create a more interesting visual experience for the recruiter, but may require some website skills as well. As well as being a recruitment social media tool, LinkedIn also has features that allow you to recreate portfolio projects on their site. You can create a LinkedIn portfolio in the featured section of your LinkedIn profile. You can include samples of your work, visualizations, and links to your code base via GitHub, for example. As I mentioned earlier, you can use open source dashboard tools like Metabase or Streamlit, but you will need to know firstly how to write the code to create those dashboards, and secondly, how to host those dashboards on a cloud hosting tool like AWS or Google. So not for the code newbies. You could try Tableau Public. They have free versions that allow you to host simple dashboards, or if you're interested in developing your website skills, you could try hosting your own website. Depending on how much front-end experience you want, you could try writing your own website from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Or you can use some commonly available templating sites like Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress, to name but a few. Blogging or vlogging. While this requires a lot of effort, creating a blog or a vlog will allow you to share your thoughts in Quasar real time and will help you to build a young audience of people not just interested in your work as an analyst, but also interested in you as a human. And this can be really helpful in your recruitment process because the recruiter can see you for who you are, understand your values, and gain some insight into you as a person. If you're blogging, you can host this on your own website, or if you don't have time to create your own website, check out sites like medium.com. And if you're vlogging, probably use YouTube. And here's a bonus tip to those who are feeling a little bit bolder. If you know a company that you'd love to work for, why don't you try reaching out to them directly? Tell them you're interested in working on data analytics and ask them if there are any problems they're interested in solving. They might be willing to give you anonymized versions of their data and allow you to work on a problem they're actually facing at the moment. This has two advantages. Advantage number one, you're working on real world problems in an area that you're interested in. And advantage number two, if you do an amazing job, they may end up hiring you afterwards. That's it. These are all the steps you need to take to make your data analytics portfolio captivating. If I saw these components in a portfolio project as a hiring manager, I would definitely get you in for an interview. And don't forget that's the primary purpose of your portfolio. Once you're in an interview, it's up to you using your soft and technical skills to wow the recruiter. It's also worth pointing out that building a data analytics portfolio helps you build the skills that you're gonna need in a role as a data analyst. But lucky for you, Career Foundry also has a free 
short course on data analytics, where you'll be able to start setting up your portfolio and take your first steps towards getting that first job in the industry. The link to the short course is also in the description below. Something else that recruiters might want to ask you about is where you think the industry is headed in the future. I've recently filmed a video about data analytics trends for 2023 and beyond, outlining how to be ahead of the game and what trends will impact your future work in this exciting career. Make sure you check it out here and I'll see you in the video.